Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to show you how I did this butterfly design. I've gone ahead and pre-prepped my Ready Guana practice hand with the Knot Polish Universal Tips and I am going to go ahead and just put some Knot Polish Monomer in my Daffin dish. That Daffin dish can be found in my Amazon storefront. I will link it in the description box. I have just all my favorite nail goodies and nail art supplies that I found on Amazon linked there. So if you want to check them out, I will link it below. I am also going to be using Nude Panther by Not Polish. It is a very beautiful pinky nude. I've done a lot of bright sets lately, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a nice neutral set. I am going to be using the Not Polish number 12 brush. It is my favorite. I usually tend to prefer size 8s or 10s, but since I've been doing longer nails and I don't want to have such small beads, I'm graduating up to the bigger sizes. So I have moved up to a 12 and so far so good. Not sure if I'll get to bump up to a 14 or a 16, but I want to get working with a 12 down. I'm going to go ahead and start with my three main beads and then add any smaller beads that I may need to to perfect my apex and my structure. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep those side walls tapered as I do this. And that way my file out will be a lot less for me to do. Are you feeling the same way I do? <laughs> Ser el hombre de tu vida, tener niños y estar en un altar. will see me work in my bead for a little bit because the room that I'm working in has been super cold lately and the colder the room the slower the acrylic will set up so I just have to play with it till it lays nice and start setting up. Conoces, supe super bien. Tú me viste y te subiste al tren. Todo vale contigo hasta nuestros amigos se enamoran de la forma que nos ven. De enamorados somos dos. A mí te lo digo, tú eres mi abrigo cuando vas al sol. Tu amor, esas nubes que se vuelven color. Yo con tanto frío, tú me das calor.
Once I'm done applying all the acrylic, I will go ahead and file and buff off camera. And then I am going to go ahead and just do some swipe on a lint-free, quotation marks, lint-free, wipe. This package was so full of lint. I don't know what it is. Every time I use them, there's even more lint on the hand. So I'm going to have to get some different ones. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up all that dust so that it doesn't end up in my design. And you can find the swipe by Young Nails linked in my Amazon storefront also. Go ahead and lay my paint out onto a palette. The first color I'm going to use is Pure White by Kiara Sky. And the second color, which is also a Kiara Sky color, is their black called Black to Black. And I'm going to just take a dotting tool and swirl those two together. When I pick it up with my brush, I want to grab a little bit of gray, a little bit of white, and a little bit of black. I'm going to put that to the side, and before I place the gel, I'm going to go ahead and use this Mia Secret Blooming Gel, and just put a nice little coat onto the nail, 
and I am actually just going to do one nail flash carrot and move on to the next. Once the gel polish is in that blooming gel, it's going to start spreading and blending. So I wasn't sure how fast it was going to do it and how much I wanted it to do. So I just decided to do each nail individually so that I could cure it whenever I was happy with how much it had spread. In case I forgot to mention it, I am putting the gel polish into the uncured blooming gel. Pero tal vez estás con otro que no te quieres. Pero yo te quisiera más que mil mujeres. Y no hay que doler para nada. Y cerrar esta herida. Y se siente vivir cuando no estás. Once I have it all down and flash cured on each one, I am going to go ahead and just use my big curing light and give everything a good 60 second cure. Next, I'm going to do some water slide stickers. These are just little black butterflies that I have found on Amazon. Once again, I'll have them linked in my Amazon storefront. And I'm just going to pick ones that I like. And they do have a plastic layer you have to take off and then put the paper in the water. And I just go ahead and throw them all in. It takes them a minute, not quite, like 20 seconds, to go ahead and separate from the paper. And they're actually super easy to apply and lay on the nail really nice. And I don't have to use anything else to adhere them to the nail. So I will just go ahead and throw these in the water for now and then you will see me place them on the nail. See, it just slides right off that paper and I just use a nice little tweezer to place them and then I'll just go ahead and move them around with my fingers. Once they're all where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and use Not Polish Matte it to top coat this set. Um, I did zoom in so that you could see how it's going to look glossy. In case you like this set glossy, I did decide to go matte. But when I go over the butterflies, they don't move. For some, They just kind of end up sticking there a little bit. They're not sticky, but yeah, I just float over them a little lightly and I don't have any problems with them running all over the nail. After I give that top coat a good 60 second cure, it is all done. I'm going to go ahead and leave a video for you of the nails and like I said, I will pause it so you can see how it look, would look shiny and then show you the video of it matte all cured up and let me know in the comments section which way you like it better, matte or shiny. Thank you so much for watching. If you could just hit that like button for me and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.